Cash Podium Club along with Oscar Mandan. This is Martin Bender, 19 years old, actually just turned 20 the other day, enjoyed a cake in the face for his troubles. And Martin Bender on course now on the Vilti Loader. Dropping in from start one, carrying some speed across above these cliffs. Sure, going to see some fireworks, little 360 there. Yeah, Bender now approaching the Heusel Cliff. There's a few different ways that this can be taken. He's going a bit more out to the rider's right for this cross-court option and spinning a 360 in. Clean landing for Martin Bender. So a great start to this run. Bender already with two 360s in, and he's not even halfway down. Going for the Super G arc, showing the judges that technique. Super strong skiing there. I'm sure the gorillas at home will be going bananas. Hopping up onto a shelf here over on the lookers right section and taking a big chunk off. Yeah, that one, we have uh, we haven't seen any action, but I think that's wise because the snow looks far better in that central section of the Vilti Loader face than it has anywhere else for the other riders going out on the borders. Bender now approaching this jump, lofty backflip, having to really swing it around at the end, but getting it under. Looking solid. I'm sure he's got more to give us here. Getting a little bit caught up, but catching catching a little bit of air time there. Yeah, a, a forced arc turn there as Bender opting to go around this one and just save himself the trouble of this kind of really tricky section airing over the bottom and putting it into the fall line. So barring any horrors in this lower section, we have our first clean run from Ski Man, both poles in one hand and flapping the wings there. As you said, Le Gourri back at home in Verbier gonna be stoked with that as he pounds his chest like the gorilla he is. Oh, so sick. Sick skiing, man. Smart. So we're gonna no. check out the replay here. Floating a 360 in above the exposure of the Housel Cliff. Yeah, and then this angled approach allows him to set that left three and land it so nice. The angles match up really well there for Bender. And then I like this section. This is very smart. And you heard Ben Richards kind of echo that. Smart skiing. And I really like also that, oh, this is a beautiful laid out backy. Pulls his tips around just in time. But what I really liked is that he lands and has to ski across a bunch of bomb holes and he just laces super G turns. You see the technicity of his skiing. Technicity indeed, and the first clean run that we have seen all day long. Bender all smiles there in the finish. First clean run executed top to bottom, and we are gonna see the score come in, and I think it's gonna be reasonably high, a 78-3-3. So the judges leaving a bit of room for what they know and do it again. Lego Real representative on the Free Ride World Tour, Martin Bender on course and heading out to the rider's right. Airing his way into that ridge line, looking super speedy and confident. Work, working the 360, looking super smooth, carrying a bunch of speed over to the looker's left section. And here we go, this rollover approach. We saw the double backflip from Chablot. Cork seven from Martin Bender. He is now looking extremely solid with two big tricks in the bag. He's got another hit lined up, popping himself into the entrance of this couloir. So Martin Bender looking to climb his way up the rankings. This side has delivered before. He's getting way on top of this big rock feature. Is he gonna pump off the top of that? Into the couloir, he does, hooking up. And a 360 there, perfect landing, riding out clean. This was an action-packed run, and he is not done yet. Going pure freestyle. That's the freestyle side of the Vilti Loader face. And Martin Bender bringing the heat here as he comes down into this low section. There's more features stacked up below him. He's going to line this one up cr slightly cross-court. And handling that short transition and riding out with some serious pace there. A huge run for the Verbier rider to kick things off in Ski Men. That was absolutely electric from Martin Bender. The 2022 Freeride Junior World Champion 
well in the mix here on the Free Ride World Tour, coming off his first FWT podium at the Georgia Pro and lighting it up here on his second run. So checking out the replay, big floaty 360, slightly over rotated, but he handles it so well. And then handles a sketchy run in for a beautiful seven, perfect landing, heading straight into that cool wire. Well, I really like this. He jumps up and out of the couloir and then puts himself on top of this huge tower and airs back into the chute. That is bigger than it looks, folks. And the control there, the technique needed to get himself lined up for this 360 and one of the first people to really nail that landing today. Yeah, you see the Aaron style jacked from the video judge. Yeah, that was a huge run and it's gonna be very interesting to see how the judges compare because our top two runs currently from Ski Man after run number one had a real big mountain vibe, Marcus above the Hoysel, and of course Trudell in the Eagle. This was pure freestyle, you know, maybe slightly mellower on the terrain side, but maxing out the use of every little bit of terrain there. He definitely managed to pack a lot of features, a lot of freestyle yeah, maneuvers sure. into one run. That was impressive. Well, the judges sitting in the bright sunshine here in Fieberbrunn, and they got to get to work now, especially since that was the first run in the ski men's field. Hey, Liam, for... you know what they do at Monte Rosa, or not? Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, so the challenger competition going on concurrently with this right now. So Martin asking uh, his good friend Liam Rivera how things are going for the rest of Les Gorilles at the challenger. Here we go. Score coming in for Martin Bender. 87-3-3. For Bender, so I think there's a statement there on the line.